Hey guys, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. I've got something really neat for you today. Today we have the Casio Super Illuminator 100 meter quartz diver, and this is model number MTD-1079D-1AVCF. And as usual, we're gonna open this thing up, look at all the features and functions, check out the build quality, and then I'll let you know what I think of this really cool Casio watch. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon shopping channel and my Teespring merch store. All of my t-shirt designs are brand new in the merch store, and I have a couple of mugs for you as well. So make sure you check those out, and I'll go ahead and put links in the description field for both of those for you. So here we go, typical Casio watch box. Y'all have seen these a million times. That might be a slight exaggeration, but you've seen them a lot. <laughs> Anyway, you know what you get inside of these boxes. You get your warranty stuff in here. You get your manual down here in this little pocket. Let's go ahead and take the watch off the display case. A lot of times they'll display the watches just like this and they'll put the price right here on this little tab right there. Anyway, I got this solely based on looks. I almost forgot about the super illuminator function and I kind of reminded myself when I looked at the dial, go, oh yeah, this is an illuminator watch, really cool. So as usual, I'll go ahead and put all the specs on the left-hand side, get all this boring crap all out of the way here, and let's talk about this thing. Man, great looking watch. And that's really why I got it, honestly, was just for the looks. Anyway, you're looking at a 44 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 14 millimeters thick, which is kind of thick for a Casio. Uh, it's 51 millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 20 millimeter stainless steel bracelet. It has a mineral crystal. It has the Casio 5373 movement. Now here's the deal with the power reserve. You get three years on the battery that powers the actual quartz movement and three years for the super illuminator function. So there are two batteries inside of this watch and you get roughly about three years on both of them. Of course, it's not windable. It is hackable because it's a quartz watch. It's water resistant to 100 meters, which is 330 feet. It has the Casio Super Illuminator Loom, uh, the LEDs, and it has Casio's proprietary loom on the indexes and hands. Uh, it has a non-screw down crown over there at three o'clock with some crown guards over here. It does have a date function at three o'clock. It does have a day function at three o'clock. And it has a really nice, by the way, 60 click unidirectional bezel. So this is a really cool watch, man. Um, talk about one of your most budget friendly, I wouldn't really even call it a diver. It's kind of a diver, semi diver. A hundred meters to me is not really in dive territory. Uh, but you can go diving, just don't go too deep. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's a fantastic looking watch. Uh, and of course, it's, it's, it's magic trick is the, uh, the super illuminator. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. But let's go ahead and talk about the basics of the watch. You have kind of a sunburst black dial here. Uh, none of the indexes are applied. They're all screen printed on the dial, as you can see. See that flat surface there? Uh, you do have a nice red accented second hand, nice big hour and minute hands. Of course, they have a bezel around the day and date, which I really love. I love it when watch companies put a bezel around the day and date of their, of their watches. Uh, it just makes it stand out more. It's easier to read for me. Um, I mean, you have a nice chapter ring, a real simple chapter ring with the uh, 24 hour time. You can see right there, 24 at the top. And for those that don't know how to tell military time, it's really simple. Anything after 12 o'clock, uh, you subtract two, you're technically subtracting 12 hours, but just subtract two hours. So if it's 1600 hours, that's four o'clock. If it's 1800 hours, that's six o'clock, so on and so forth. Uh, and I always like to say that because some people are like, how do you tell military time? And it's really easy, guys. Um, so anyway, so there you go. Uh, nice, big, bold indexes. Again, just screen printed, not applied. Uh, minimal writing on the dial. Of course, they like to advertise that illuminator function underneath the Casio logo over there. Uh, of course, you have water resist. 100 meters down there at the bottom, right above the six o'clock index. Again, we talked about the chapter ring with the 24 hour markings. The bezel, unidirectional 60 click has incredible click action, really nice. It's got a little bit of back play to it, but that's to be expected for a watch in this price range. But it still has a really satisfying click. And when you click it there, it stays. It doesn't move around at all. Um, really, really nice bezel. I mean, it's an inexpensive bezel, but it's still pretty nice. So there you go, there's the dial of the watch. Um, nothing fancy, really legible, uh, easily read at a distance, which I like. Uh, the case, the case is really highly polished, super highly polished. The buttons are highly polished, the crown is polished, the crown guards are polished, the lugs are polished. I mean, the whole case is polished. Uh, the only part where you're gonna see a little bit of brushing is on the links. The center links of the bracelet are also polished. So let's go around here. You've got your Cassia logo at the uh, security buckle here. 
open it up. Of course, you get stamped metal. You're not going to get a milled, uh, you know, kind of scissor clasp there. Uh, just going to get some stamped metal. And sometimes that works. I mean, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's, it's still nice and secure. It's not going to come off your wrist. Now, you do have folded links. I don't know if you can see that. You got folded links. And Casio uses a really interesting uh, interlocking system for their links. It's not a pin. It's not a screw-in pin. It's these little, and I had to take one of these off to adjust it. They're these little curved bars right there. I don't know if you can see that. But basically what you do is you just get like a pin removal tool, stick it in that little hole and pry these bars out and the bar comes out. And that's how it holds all the links together. Really interesting. I've never, I have never seen that before, but it was incredibly easy to size this watch. Just pop out one of these bars. The bar basically unlocks itself from the rest of the links. Uh, and then you uh, either remove a link or add a link or whatever you want to do. I had to remove a link. Uh, totally different than anything I've ever used, but really, really simple and easy to do. Took me like maybe five minutes. So anyway, there you go. Let's look at the uh, case back. I mean, nothing special, guys. I mean, nothing to write home about. Uh, just your typical laser etched Casio case back with stainless steel. What does it say here? Uh, what does it say? Uh, water resistant. Uh, 100 meters, uh, it gives you the module number, which is uh, 5373, uh, cased in China, yada, 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 Japan movement. I mean, you've seen all this before. So this is just a really good, solid budget beater watch uh, with a really cool trick. And first of all, let me go try it on. All right. Yeah, it fits great. Got a nice little bit of weight to it. Again, it has those two batteries in there. It's a little bit thicker than your normal Casio watch. So it fits great, feels great, looks great. It's great. <laughs> I like it, man. Nice watch. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and dim the lights. Turn off the uh, monitor here. And daggone it, I forgot to get out my ultraviolet light. Hold on a second. Please enjoy the whole music. All right, here we go. I hope you enjoyed that, by the way. All right, here we go. Watch this, folks. Here is the loom, the Casio proprietary loom. I don't know what they're using. Here's a loom that's on the indexes and the hour and minute and I think second hand, too. So there's your loom, right? Not bad. Actually better than I thought. It does fade really fast though, but that's not why this watch is special. The reason why this watch is special is this. Bam, look at that. Dual illuminator, super illuminator. You've got two bright blue LEDs, one at 12 o'clock, you can see it. Let me turn it around, do it again, and one at six o'clock. So it totally illuminates the whole face of this watch. Now, depending on how much you use the super illuminator function, that is obviously going to decrease the battery life. So you want to kind of use it sparingly if you can. And as you can tell, the regular loom that's on the index is the paint is totally faded by now. But uh, it's just really cool. Now, there was another super illuminator watch called the Marlin. Let me go ahead and put that up on the side of the screen. In fact, let me go ahead and turn the light on here real quick. Anyway, that's the Marlin. And I had one of those way back in the day. I don't know why I got rid of it. That was such a cool looking watch. Now I think its successor is the Duro and I'll go ahead and put that on the screen as well. There is the Duro and I have one of those. I'm not gonna be dumb enough to sell that one, but I wish I had kept that Marlin. That was just such a cool, cool looking watch. So guys, that's really been about it for this one. Again, you know, not much to write home about. It doesn't have a lot of different functions or complications or anything. It's just a really good quality built Casio watch with a little hat trick, and that's the, uh, you see it right there, that's the illumination. So really cool watch, just fantastic looking, by the way. I love the way these things look. So I'll make sure to put a, a link in the description field so you can go over to Amazon and pick one of these up if you would like. They're about $65, $67, and I think they come in a couple different um, dial colors and designs as well. I think I'll have to look at that. And if they do, I'll go ahead and put all those links in there for you as well. And also make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell to make sure you get all of my uh, videos. So guys, again, that's been about it. This has been the Casio Super Illuminator 100 meter quartz diver, model number MTD1079D-1AVCF. See how fast I said that? And uh, that's about it. Until the next review, I will see. Oh, by the way, I've got something really cool coming up. 
in the next uh, week or so. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm not even going to give you a hint. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, congratulations to the guys that won the watches. Uh, both of them, oddly enough, decided to remain anonymous. They didn't want me to, to say their names <laughs> on my channel. But I can tell you, one guy was in Australia and one guy was uh, in Dallas, Texas. Uh, and that other guy, I think it was Adelaide. Yeah, it was Adelaide, Australia. So one guy was in Adelaide, Australia. One guy was in Dallas, Texas, but they didn't, for whatever reason, both of them decided, uh, they didn't want me to, uh, say their names. Guys, I hope you enjoy the watches. Thank you so much for, uh, not only watching my videos, but, you know, kind of entering the contest. I appreciate the kind words. And I really do hope you enjoy those Neymar, uh, watches. So anyway, guys, that's been about it. Until the next review, I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.